Hey, do you ever see a tree and be like, hey, I want to make that, but ten times better? No. No, just, just me. Well, too bad, I'm gonna force you to learn how to make a custom tree. Let's, let's learn how to make some custom trees. showing you how to make some custom trees starting off from small to medium to large. The materials you need will be dark oak, spruce wood, dark oak stairs, spruce leaves, spruce gates, dark oak fences. Starting off the lovely small tree just go ahead and make your big old tree. And what you want to go want to do is you're going to want to go throughout the tree and just add some spruce gates. On every level, try to get some on every side. And then once they're evenly spread, just add like one or two more blocks to the top there. And then you just wanna start adding the leaves. I start by making the bottom ones, like two blocks out. And then as the tree go goes further up, I just thin out the how far out the leaves go. So like now I'll start just making it only one, boom. Once you get to the only one leave wide branches, branches, I just like to encase it in leaves like that. And then you want to add, a, add two to the top, and then you want to fill those in. Maybe leave one out, leave one in the open. Go to your side view, and if and you want to make sure the tree is in a triangle shape. So wherever you need to add to make this triangle shape more prominent, just add a gate and add the le your leaves. And if there's a big gap here, where so it's not completely filling in the shape, just add the leaves to fill in the shape in. And that looks a lot better on this side. You want to go to the other side, do the same thing. Just fill in gaps so, maybe, so you can get more of a triangle shape. And once you got a nice triangle shape, just go in, fill, fill it out a little bit more so it's a little bit thicker, I guess. Learning how to make trees is a lot of just trimming and tweaking so it looks nice. Once you got this basic shape, go ahead and take your dark oak fence and, and add some fences right there. And wherever there's an open space and you think it will look good, just add a fence there. Just look around your tree, maybe a fence will look good there. Maybe one will look good there and there. Just, just add them wherever you think they'll look good. Once you got that, go ahead and add your trunk. I like to put it out a little bit, like by one block, so I can add more shape to the trunk. Maybe add a dark oak track door, those make it look a lot better. Maybe one there. And then there you go, you got a small spruce tree. Honestly, it just takes a lot of tweaking to make it look good. Next we got the medium spruce tree, this is a bit different than this one. First you want to start out by going up by about five to six blocks, like that, and then going off by about the same amount, going off again by about the same amount. Shoot, until you have a, something a little bit like that. The next thing you want to do is you want to add branches. I like to make them about three blocks long at the bottom. And then as you get closer to the top, make them two blocks, maybe, and then one, one block. Like I said, learning how to make trees is really just a learning process. It takes some practice. Once you think the tree is filled enough with branches, you want to go in and do the same thing with that, with the leaves, but instead at the bottom, make those two blocks long. Then you just want to make sure there's not, you want to make sure there's not very much space for the spruce logs to be seen. Add like a few little bits that you can see. My rule is to make it at least like 50 to 40% leaves and the rest air. Just kind of fill it. You just want to cover the, the branches first. And then, you, and then you make sure the tree is all balanced and filled up. Go and do the same thing. Go up by three, go up by three leaves, and just start going like that. Once the tree is looking something like this, it's gonna look kind of wonky because these trees look a lot more unbalanced at the start. So just want to go and make sure the tree has like a kind of curvature triangle shape. So I, I like to just go in and just fill it in a, bit, a lot more. Because most of the time that's a problem, it's just not filled in enough. 
Where, wherever, whenever there's a lot of space between the branches, I just like to fill it up with leaves. And that balances out a lot more. It's already looking a lot better. You just add a little ghost branch there, so it looks more triangle-like. Make sure you step back a lot while making these trees, so you can get a better perspective on them. Like I said, it just takes a lot of practice and tweaking. It's like trimming your actual bushes. You just want to make sure they look nice. Take steps back. And make sure you get angles from every single side, because one side, because all all the other sides might look nice, but one side might look wonky. Like this side looks really good, but this side doesn't look the best because that spot isn't very filled out. So I'm just gonna ahead and fill that out. It looks a lot better. Maybe add a little branch here. Now you want to make sure that that the leaves kind of start at a level. So in this my case, I'm just going to delete this branch a bit, this branch a bit, so that the leaves start at a more consistent level. This is not a very good example of a tree because it doesn't look the best from all angles. I think this is a really good example of a tree. Make sure it looks something like this. You want you want some elements of square and lines, but you also want a lot of elements of randomness. Next, add in the trunk. Maybe make it two blocks high this time. Just kind of repeat the process. Stairs, ran make sure just randomize it a lot. I like to do something like that and kind of make and kind of make the the bottom part like go up a little bit more. Just add your fences. Like last time, just start adding your fences where you think they'll look good. I like to add them where they can attach to a spruce log. Or when they'll be between two leaves like that. Or when they're hanging. Finishing touches, just add your top to the tree. Now let's move on to the big chunky spruce tree. Start off by making the same kind of shape, but just significantly taller. I like to make the first little part as about as half as big as that part. And just repeat the process like the like the other spruce tree, just bigger. And then start chunking your spruce tree up. It should be about three blocks wide in most spaces. This chunk should be a lot wider than the other parts. Make sure there's not very make sure there's a lot of space between the chunk part and this part. So in this case I'll just add a little bit more there. Once it looks something like that, it's alright. And start make not start thicking out the most the rest of it. It should be about three blocks wide on all sides. Parts where it just where it looks very empty, you can just go ahead and add a bit there. This is an alright looking tree, so you just want to make these branches about five to six blocks long. Five to six blocks long at the bottom, I recommend five. Just kind of spam the shape, it doesn't really matter that much. Make sure they're thin because then you can add a lot more bulk to the leaves later later on. And as you're starting to get higher up in the tree, you start making it four blocks to and then to three blocks. Just kind of spam and make just to add the branches first, and then you go in and you tweak it and balance it out. Make sure it looks even on all sides. That looks a bit like a triangle shape, but I can get I can get rid of that and get rid of that. It looks a lot more like a triangle shape. Maybe add a branch in here, just add to it. Maybe add one right there, and that thick, add one more there. Make sure it's a consistent triangle shape on it, on all ends, like this part is, this part is too consistent. Just add out to there. Once you got that, add a little bit more to the tops, so the tree has some breathing space at the top. You want to make sure the branches are kind of far from the tippity top of it. So maybe add up by five to six blocks. After that, start adding your leaves. Make them a lot thicker than you have on the other ones. You just, you can kind of spam, it doesn't matter that much. Because you can go in and just tweak it. Just kind of spam and make it look thick. That's what she said. Always make sure you're adding the bottom to the, to the branches. Try to follow the shape on these branches a little bit more because these, because these branches already go out quite a bit. So you don't really have to make the brand you don't really have to make the leaves longer just kind of follow the shape of the branches once the tree looks something like this it should already be kind of balanced because of how long they go out and how big the tree is just start adding the leaves wherever there's big gaps like here and there just start just start filling the tree in with the leaves like again you could just probably just spam because it doesn't matter that much and add into and add the leaves to any parts you missed because i do this quite a lot 
add your leaves to the top part, just kind of spam. Make sure there's variation and randomness in this tree. Go up by maybe four blocks on this part, on the top part. Again, make sure you're looking at all sides of the tree to make sure it looks nice and triangle and balanced. You can leave a lot more spruce logs open this time because the tree is bigger. And make sure it's consistently triangle on all sides, like this, this branch I need to add. And that makes it look a lot better. On this side, that part isn't, isn't very connected, so you just want to add some branches to fill it up here. Make sure it looks alright from all sides. And then you can start adding your finishing touch touches to the trees. Just start tweaking wherever you want, wherever you need to. Add the top part. I like to make this four blocks tall. That just adds to it significantly. Add wherever you think the, the fences will look good. You should know how to do this by now. I think the fences can be interpreted as acorns in spruce trees. I think grow acorns. I'm not sure though. But it just adds to the droopiness of the tree. Then just add your stuff to the trunk. I like to just add those where I'm going to add a stair for this if there's not already a part. I think stairs come in clutch with this with with the trunk because they are thicker than the, when than these other blocks. And with the big trees, I like to kind of have the roots coming out a little bit. It's like maybe do something like that. so maybe do stuff like that and have the roots come out a bit. Because the tree is bigger, so the so the trunk will naturally will come. So the trunk and roots will naturally come out more. Add your fences. We add your fences. We've been over. We've done this a couple times. You should know the, the routine. Trap doors wherever you think they'll you think they'll look good. Then kind of have the then kind of have the top creep creep up into there a little bit. Add the trap doors. They work pretty well. And there you go. You got a pretty nice big looking big tree. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed being kidnapped by me to learn how to make custom spruce trees. I'll have some more videos coming out soon on how to make other things in Minecraft. Maybe maybe some paths or custom terrains. I want to make this entire area a cute little forest scene. Yeah, so make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you know when I upload more tutorials. Please comment something because it adds some interaction to the video and gets boosted on the algorithm. And then like the video, it encourages me to make more videos like this. Have a good day, my name is Leah. Hope you enjoyed.